What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome to my first Unkilled video. I already told you guys I was looking for a second game just to change of pace, kill the time, sometimes in between the Shadowgun Legends update. Uh, when there's nothing to say, nothing to cover, I want to keep uh, posting videos every day. And I thought Unkilled was a great choice because a lot of you guys already play, or already tried. Some guys say it's awesome. Some guys don't like it that much, but I wanted to try. So I downloaded it. Uh, two days ago and I played a little bit the first night a little bit the second night so just a bit about my progression I started the game there's a tutorial at the start they want to like show you around how to use the controls I play on Nvidia Shield by the way so I play with a controller but yeah so I'm gonna try to post a little bit here and there leave me comments below on how you like Unkilled and what you want to see next just saying though I'm not switching games don't worry guys I'm still gonna cover Shadowgun Legends and Shadowgun War games, but like I said, sometimes in between updates, there's not much to say. I already did the video, guys. I wanted to do about everything, so I wanted to play something else to, yeah, have fun and try this game. So after the tutorial, you need to choose one of the characters. You have to make a choice. I did look a little bit. Uh, they have different perks like extra reload, movement speed, accuracy, stuff like that. Uh, they don't have all the same HP to start with. So I did look around a little bit before I made my final decision. I end up choosing Joe and I named my character Johnny. I don't know if you choose different names every time you get a new character, but Johnny was not taken. So good news. I'll still be Johnny in this game. Now, after choosing my character, I did look around a little bit. I checked the shop, see what kind of offers they have. They have a cool offer for new players that I did go for it. But if you make your first purchase, they give you a thunder gun. So you guys will see some gameplay today. This is the Stormbringer, by the way, and uh, you'll see later. Now, after a couple missions, they keep showing you all the stuff that you can do using the perks and stuff. Uh, there's a mission here when you're on a vehicle and you keep using the Gatling gun. Uh, that was pretty cool for real. I like this game so far, guys. I'm hooked. Now, after a little while, I unlocked the kind of tower defense or something that you have. Uh, you have to build, you have to level up your zombies, uh, zombie army. Uh, I did not really look into it because I wanted to do the campaign. But I level up, I gave my zombies HP and melee damage instead of speed. That thing is called survival up. So you can get gold every day by defending. But really, uh, for now, I keep it for later. But I wanted to progress in the campaign and try to get three stars everywhere. That's what I did yesterday. Now, after a couple levels, I realized I was into the game. So I made, I did make my first purchase and I got the Stormbringer. Guys, this brings me uh, Call of Duty Zombies memories. Uh, what was it called? The, the Wonder Waffle or something in the old Call of Duty Zombies. That was pretty OP. Uh, it shoots one, one blast of energy or electricity, but it will kill all the zombies uh, that are close, like chain lightning or something. Uh, look at that first blast ever for me. And it kills all three zombies. So you got some challenges for multi kills, and uh, this will kill a lot of zombies at the same time all the time. If you wait for them to get uh, together and you shoot, it kills everything around. That's very cool. Now, I gotta say, I didn't have much of a challenge until level eight on the first tier. I had three stars easy without even really trying. But when I got to the mission eight, it says you have to find four skulls. And destroy them to get the three stars like killing zombies is easy finishing the mission not so hard but i had to find the skulls and i only found three and i finished the game i could not go around and try to find the last one i did not quit i tried again and i finally found the four skulls uh, after like three or four attempts at least and then after that there was a sniper mission you have to cover the guy that was also pretty cool but i did not get uh you have to remove 15 limbs uh, I think it works better when you do headshot, but my first attempt, I didn't really pay attention. And I finished the mission without 15, so I had to do another try. So, so far, not so hard, but it's still a bit challenging that you don't get everything on your first try. So and then mission 10 is a boss fight, so I did kill the boss. And that's where I'm at today. I finished the whole first tier, the first 10 missions. Then I went back to 8 and 9 to get the 3 stars. And that's where we at so we're gonna play a little bit today on tier 2 see what's going on okay so back to work I'm level 5 now and I'm about to enter tier 2 on the single player campaign so when you progress you get better rewards more cash uh, more XP on the tier 2 and it seems I unlocked a bunch of new minions or cards or I don't know what that is 
but it just unlocked a bunch of things for me no idea what that is by the way all right so i got more gold i got a lot of gold because i made my first purchase but i don't know what to do with gold so leave me a comment below and let me know if you guys played unkilled for a while what do you do with your gold you have any tips for me i like to know so let's go for mission 11 guys and i'm gonna bring the stormbringer uh i play a sniper as secondary and the the gadgets honestly i don't use that much so i mean i don't really need right now all right and then uh, all my skill points i put in movement speed so far we got zombies here and telling you guys i mean i don't know if it's because i use the stormbringer but this is a piece of cake so far uh except i just have to look at the objective just to make sure i don't miss anything but it says kill zero out of 17 with heavy weapon uh i don't even have a, a heavy weapon right now so i don't know if i'll find one in the mission but if i don't find a heavy weapon i have to go back to the mission um to to complete my objective maybe if i knew i would have maybe bring a heavy weapon with me or maybe i should have checked the objective before i start Look at all the multi kills. It's very easy with the Storm Ringer. So I don't know if like I don't know if there's a difference if I play um, anything like a SMG or something. Oh, by the way, all the cash I had uh, from my first purchase, I put everything to upgrade my weapon. So like, I got more damage, uh, better fire rate, more ammo, I guess. So. Yeah, I guess I just have to stick with this guy. But 0 out of 17 with heavy weapon. I don't have a heavy weapon. So if it's the end of the mission, I'll have to try again, I guess. Oh, wow, what? This is a new guy. I haven't seen this guy yet. They kind of stun him also. Three shots and he's dead. Oof. That was not so hard. Protect soldier. Till the bolt arrives. Yeah, I really need a heavy weapon, guys. I mean, if I use secondary, it won't count as a heavy weapon, right? Oh, yeah, one kill. Okay, oh, if I knew. I should have started... <laughs> Three seconds left. I think it's a fail. I should have just used my sniper from the start. Eee. It's gonna be two stars, guys. Because I'm new to the game. I don't even know what a heavy weapon is. I wouldn't consider a sniper a heavy weapon, but it's a secondary, so. Two stars it is, guys. I'll have to do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Just get my 17 kills at the start and then finish the mission. The Stormbringer, I guess. Yeah, let's switch to the sniper right at the start. And go for some snipe kills. So, one, two, two. That's three. Okay, we good. We good. E five. That was a double kill. That girl's dead. So yeah, the the bullets got penetration. I mean, they they pierce, they go through. That would be nice in Shadowgun Legends. Maybe that would be OP. So we're at eight. Must be careful. I don't know if you can kill your teammate or damage them. I'm gonna go for a multi... Nope. Maybe if it's the head or something. Anyways, that's 17, so I can just switch back to my uh, primary and finish the mission the easy way. So once again, the boss is gonna take three shots. Also, leave me a comment. Two shots I did. Alright, two shots this time. Uh, let me know... Uh, is it normal that it's easy like that or is it my weapon that's OP? But take the soldier. 7, 15. So I can just let them come and when there's a bunch, I mean probably the, the barricade is going to slow it down a little bit. But when there's a bunch, you get multi kills like that. Like See, three kills. Didn't even have to kill the others. That was easy. Oh, I don't have 31 kills. What? I should have finished. Wow, what a mess. That's an epic fail. I was so focused on 17 uh, heavy weapon kills that I forgot to kill 31 zombies. I had to shoot at the end, I think. Hey, right, guys, we have to do it again. I'm not leaving. 
until we're done. Okay, you know what? For some reason, it chose three stars because you can do the different stars on different uh, runs, I guess. I mean, that's what I understand now. If I go kill 17 with heavy weapon on one run and then kill 31 on the second run, the stars, the, they don't have to be done on the same run. That's what I understand. All right, that's cool for real. So let's go for one more mission, guys. Six zombies with explosive and finish in a minute and 30 seconds. So this is the first time I think I have a timed mission. And then killing enemies with explosive, you gotta look for uh, the barrels, anything that's red. I don't even know what to do, so clear the bridge and surroundings. Wait, what? I'll kill my buddy, boy. Yeah, there was a barrel there. I could have got a couple kills there with the explosives, right? This one here. That counts for one. Yeah, I know. Damn, I only got one. Then that's two. I don't even know where it was. How did I get that? Need to look for more explosives. It's a fail, guys. I mean, mission success, but I did not get enough kills with explosive. So finishing in a minute is not so hard, but getting the explosive skills. I had opportunities. I just failed, so... Maybe wait for a good timing and shoot the barrel next time. The next mission is going to be a Gatling gun mission, so it should be a lot of fun. But I'm going to have to stop it there because it's going to be a long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Unkilled gameplay. I will be back soon. Leave me a comment below what you want to see. And if you play Unkill, let me know. I want to know. All right, guys. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll be back soon. Take care.